Hello, my name is Joel Bowers. I am a museum host associate here at the Taubman Museum of Art in Roanoke, Virginia. So as a museum host associate, one of my roles is actually putting these exhibits together and making them come into fruition. So behind me, we have Ruth E. Carter, Afrofuturism and Costume Design. So the team and I, when dressing these mannequins, had to make the clothes actually come to life. So the mannequins before are just scrawny little figures, they're all uniform, but it's important to make the costumes actually look as if it is the character. And so what we do is we build up the form or cut away the form to make it fit each individual character's body type. And so one of the things that we do here is a simple ball joint is on the mannequin. And so what we do is we add a little piece of fabric or tool underneath, and then when you put the the uh, costume on, it just simply drapes over and gives a semblance of an actual shoulder. And depending on how much fabric you add is how much bulk of a shoulder you'll have. And so another interesting aspect of this exhibit is up above us, we have a structure. Uh, it's about a, like an abstract bridge, but that symbolizes Martin Luther King's march on Selma's bridge. And so behind us, you'll also see the characters are in motion. And this was a challenge because it's not so easy to make uh, stiff-legged mannequins actually look as if they're walking, lifelike. And so what we did is we had to continuously look around the mannequins and readjust the legs and uh, actually watch each other walk in order to make them look accurate. Thank you for joining me today and talking about our artwork spotlight. I hope to see you here at the Taubman Museum of Art in Roanoke, Virginia, because the Ruthie Carter Afrofuturism and Costume Design is truly an exhibit to see.